Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. So in today's video, I'm going to try to make the funeral sandwich, which is a sandwich made with cheese and ham. So it's pretty much like a, a ham and cheese sandwich, but with special sauce. So for ingredients, let's check down below. For this ingredient, obviously you will need a bread and the bread that I use here is the same with the previous video. I'm using the Filipino Hawaiian roll. Now, for the ham and the cheese. The ham, I'm using smoked black forest ham. And then for the cheese, I'm using provolone. But you can substitute this with any kind of cheese you like. Uh, usually people go with uh, Swiss, which is nice melted points. But uh, if you like cheddar, go ahead with it. For the special sauce, you will need 125 gram of melted butter. You will need Dijon mustard. Worcestershire sauce and brown sugar. First thing first, you want to cut the bread lengthwise so it creates this kind of uh, layer. So you want to make like a cider style. So after that, we're going to make the sauce now. Now we're going to mix the sauce. So first thing first, you need about two tablespoons of brown sugar. Now you need two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. Next is going to be three tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. And the last one, our melted butter. Now whisk it. So now after it's all mixed up, we're going to bring this into a simmer for about a minute or two and then the sauce will be ready to go. All right, so we're gonna bring this to simmer for about uh, a minute, let's say. So now it's gonna start cooking. When it start, make a big bubble like that, then I'm gonna lower the heat. And then I'm gonna let it simmer for about a minute. All right guys, so after a minute simmering is done, I'm gonna pull it out from the stove, mix them up. So what this simmering does is we want to help the sugar, make it uh, caramelize the sugar. That's pretty much what it is because on the sandwich you want a little bit soggy on the bread, all right? So now let's prep the web, uh, the bread, I'm sorry. So now we're gonna prep the bread. So while you prepping all the ingredients, you wanna preheat your oven for uh, 350 degree Fahrenheit. So now let's do it. So first thing first, you wanna grease your baking sheet. And then you wanna put about three to four tablespoons of your sauce just spread them next you want to put the bottom part of your bun in the baking sheet just press gently now the provolone cheese make sure you layer every inch of the bread with the cheese after the cheese we're gonna put the ham after you put all the ham now you want to cover it again with cheese so the layer is going to be cheese ham and then another cheese so now, if you want to mix the cheese, that's fine. So let's say if you want to put, uh, you mix, you want to mix it uh, mozzarella with Swiss, that's completely fine also. And pretty much my oven, it's already heated up at 350. So now I'm going to cover it with the other top parts of the bread, and then I'm going to pour all the sauce. So let's do this now. So now the top parts of the bread on sauce. Make sure you coat each of individual bun. So all right, so once it's done, we're gonna bake this for about 15 to 20 minutes at 350 degree Fahrenheit. 
All right guys, so now we're gonna put the timer between 15 to 20 minutes. So the timer I'm gonna put on the 20 minutes, but after 15 minutes, I'm gonna double check. So I'll see you in 15 or 20 minutes. All right guys, so this is the results of 20 minutes. Actually, I'm using 20 minutes of baking this sandwich. So now let's give it a check or let's give it a try. Now let's try to pull it. Like I told you, this bread is a little bit soggy. And as you can see, all the cheese is melted. All right guys, so this is the final result of our sandwich, uh, you know, or cider. So now, as you can see, the top part is hard, nice. The bottom part is been soaked with the sauce. So now I'm gonna garnish this with chive I'm just gonna put a little bit on top and then I'm gonna give it a try it's really really nice the top you have the crush on the bottom it's nice saucy uh, a little bit soggy bread but that's the idea. You want the bottom part is a little bit soggy because that's the one that's gonna absorb the sauce. And then the Hawaiian roll, it works well because the Hawaiian roll, it's sweet and it balances well with the all the ham and the cheese because the ham and the cheese is a little bit salty. So yeah, this is really easy. It takes about 15, 20 minutes to make and uh, definitely worth it. So give it a try. So that's it for our today's video guys. If you guys like this video, please give us a like, comment, share, and please don't forget to subscribe because subscribe, it costs you nothing, but it really helps us. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next video.